What is up, Omosh Nation? How are you doing today? I hope you're doing so well, like always, and are ready for an awesome reveal. Guys, we have another big PSA bulk sub from Clearback in September of 2020. That is right, we sent off this submission on September 16th. That is so wild, but they are finally back. And guys, this video will be broken up into two parts. All of the Omosh Nation members will be in today's video, because I know you guys want to see all of your stuff. And then my cards will be a completely separate video because I sent enough to cover its own video and they are some insanely cool cards. I can't wait. And so guys, with that, the Omosh Nation members who are part of this reveal are Bradley, Jorge, Owen, Tristan, Edgar, and Matthew. Guys, I hope you're so pumped. You've waited so long for these cards, and I'm just excited for you. Hopefully we get some awesome grades. And guys, you know the deal. Another October video, if I'm not mistaken, a day before the actual two year anniversary of the channel. So we're doing another giveaway for a mystery slab pack from me, Omosh. And of course, the winner of Tuesday's video will be picked at the end of this video by the classic random card. Comment picker and guys today to enter the giveaway all I want to know is your favorite anime or TV show or movie if you don't watch anime and why and also you have to be subscribed to the channel the button is right there guys I'm pumped to hear your guys stuff I'm always looking for new animes to watch new movies to watch you know stuff like that so I'm excited to see what the homage nation watches because I think we have a lot in common it's been so fun getting to know all of you guys Guys, every single video with all these giveaway questions so I'm pumped and good luck to whoever wins and guys we have to unbox everything get everything ready to be revealed but before we do that a big special thank you to our sponsor for today's video we are back with Boxu guys Boxu is a monthly subscription box that is filled with all of the best treats snacks foods of Japan. They pack these boxes up so well with so many goodies and they bring them right to your front door no matter where you are in the world. It's probably the most amazing thing ever. And what makes Boxu really cool is that you get a different box every single month so you are not eating the same treats every single time. They switch it up and they are partnered with so many makers of these treats in Japan so you get some real authentic Japanese culture in every single box. It is so awesome. Big thank you to Boxu for sponsoring this video. Make sure to use my code OMOSH10 to get 10% off your subscription when you sign up for your own Boxu box. Guys, you will not regret it. I promise you that. So here we are guys, check out this box. It is so awesome, filled with so many goodies. This one is the Moon Festival box, and guys, just look at what is in here. Here's a nice thank you note from the owners, and just look how many goodies are in there, guys. So many good snacks, they're all amazing, and it's so fun to share with your family members or friends. Moon Festival, and this just goes over all of the treats that you will find in this box, and look at that, guys. Like I said, they partner with so many creators and makers in Japan, and they break down every single one. It is so fun to go through. We won't go through the whole thing. That is what you can do yourself, but let's try a few, because I'm kinda hungry. So here we are guys, you get so many goodies in every single box and I'm telling you, oh those, those look interesting. You'll probably eat everything in this box in one day because everything is so good. Oh, there's just too many. <laughs> I wish I had more people to share with, but that is my favorite part. I love sharing with my mom because she is Japanese. And so guys, we're gonna try this treat right here. Uh, looks like a nice little corn flake. Uh, sort of potato chip kind of thing. Usually Japan does the side peel with their stuff. Okay, look at that. Look at this, guys. Oh, it's already broken off. Nicely crispy. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh, I've eaten so many things similar to this my whole life, so this is amazing. Mmm. I'll be finishing those two bags myself. <laughs> and they always throw in some mochi, and I love mochi. Let's see what this one is like. It's yellow, maybe it's like a little lemon flavor thing. Oh boy, it's sticky, I'm gonna have to wash my hands after this. Here we go, it's nice and gooey, nice and gummy. Mmm, 
Definitely has a little lemon twist. And it is so freaking good. I'm just a huge mochi fan. And that is a quick experience of Boksu, guys. Remember to use my code OMOSH10 at checkout for 10% off your subscription. You will love it. And make sure to message me what you think about the box because I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you, Boksu, for sponsoring this video. And now, let's get to the reveal. All right guys, we're back and we have towers. Two towers of Pokemon cards. Let's see what we can go with. I might move this tower to the side actually so that we have a little more room to view the actual card. There we go, now, now we're working. Let's see what we got here. The birds to start us off. Very nice stain birds. Nine, not too shabby, not too bad. Next up we have Ooh, base to him on Chan. Guys, just look at that foil. That almost looks like an error. Like it's a perma foil. <laughs> you don't need to hit it with uh, any weird angles. Eight for the base two hit Monchan. Let's go. We will take that all day long. Anything Watsy, anything vintage, eight is a solid grade. First edition pincer. Let's go, baby. Oh, we got a six on that one. Not too bad. We don't have all the time in the world to inspect every single card. But, oh, I just love looking at these artworks. I love that pincer card so much. Ooh, look at this promo winner card. Rocket Scizor, very cool. <laughs> I've never seen this card before, so I love that. A 10 for this, very nice. Best stamp right there, and you got the winner. You are a winner for grading a 10 for that one. Very nice card right there. So cool seeing stuff you've never seen. We got the W uh, stamp Dark Arbok. Six for this one, not terrible, not the best. Obviously, I'll take a seven or above for a really good grade. Poly Wrath, base set, love the vintage stuff. Six once again, classic Poly Wrath artwork. Uh, me personally, I like anything eight and above, but oh, getting hit hard by with that firework foil, insane, so awesome to see. Ooh, another eight right there, very nice. <laughs> Guys, the sun just came out, so my screen is like way brighter now. I might need to adjust that. Oh, that is so beautiful though. I need some legendary collection uh, cards in my personal collection, because I don't have a single one. Lapras from Fossil, bigger, big hit, a five, right in the middle with that one. You can see it is kind of scratched up. Uh, it's actually hard to see with this lighting. <laughs> Haven't figured out the lighting of my kitchen yet. But next, we have a Japanese card. Ooh, it is the Error Koga's Trick. Yeah, as you can tell, that should not be there. <laughs> they did fix that later on with the set prints uh, releases. Seven for the band Koga's Trick. Very cool card there. This is definitely played. Let's see what it is. Tyranitar, non hollow from Neo Discovery. A four, yeah, doesn't surprise us with that one. Beautiful artwork though. Hopefully we can pull it in tomorrow's vintage opening. So stoked about that. Misty from Jim Heroes Hollow. Oh yes, I need this card in my collection. An eight. If you want to do a trade, I will trade you some stuff. I'm trying to get all of the Jim Heroes, Jim Challenge uh, cards slabbed up. Ooh, Giovanni's Scheme from 2015. A 10, very nice, <laughs> that's crazy. This is a full art you don't see too often. We have plenty of Giovanni cards in today's TCG. Oh yes, beautiful Umbreon artwork. This is the non hollow from Aquapolis, but that artwork is just insane. On the rooftops, let's see what we got. A six for this one. Oh man, that is just so good though, so good looking, seriously. Next up we have Yes, Brock's trainer, let's go. I love the Gym Heroes cards. A seven for this one. So close to that eight. Brock, I was surprised, is a lot of your guys' favorite trainer. I did not know Brock was that popular. Legendary Collection, Hollow, Dark Persian. A six for this guy. Kind of weird artwork there. Makes uh, Persian look a little skimpy. <laughs> Next up, ooh, first edition Shadowless Kakuna, let's go. A three for this. Yeah, you can see why. But hey, it is first edition and it is Shadowless. The first cards ever released here in America. Base set Mewtwo, let's go. A five, right in the middle with that one. Not bad. Love seeing your guys' kids' cards being 
slabbed up, just holding so many memories. Oh, wow. Now that is an insane artwork. And if I can get the lighting right, there is an insane swirl going on right here. Man, that is massive. That is so Pop Series 5. Let's see what we got. A three, it is definitely played, but ooh, that Lugia artwork is insane. Wow. Next up, yes, Erica, love to see that. A seven, come on, get that eight. <laughs> if these were eights, I would trade you for them all. But you know, maybe you don't want to trade and that's all good. Ooh, shiny gold star Celebi. Let's go right here. Crystal Guardians, love the gold stars. A four, definitely played, but still such a cool card. I will take that all day long. Protecting them forever. Legendary Collection non hollow I actually like the non hollow for this. Uh, you can just see what's actually going on in the background. An eight, very nice. I will take that. A non hollow base Charizard. You don't see that, like, ever. Next up, Scizor VMAX. We have some modern stuff. Ten, very nice. Is that our first ten of the day? No, we had that Scizor. Very cool, Charizard V, 10. Can't complain about any 10 ever. Let's go, Salamans, love my dragons. Another 10, nice little streak of 10s. Let's uh, move this pile over here because I'm running out of room. Next up we have, ooh yeah, back to vintage, Dark Blastoise, seven near mint. This is my favorite Blastoise card, just so you guys know. I'm sure you guys know already. <laughs> so beautiful. Another one, but this one's first edition. Let's go. A two. <laughs> Something, it doesn't look that bad right at uh, first glance. Oh, but uh, <laughs> yeah, the back does. Very nice, love that artwork so much. So nostalgic. Professor Elm Reverse Hollow. This is another best stamp. I like the way the reverses look. An eight for this one, beautiful. So cool, the <laughs> Professor Elm with the Cinequil. Johto is just such a good region, guys. Aerodactyl from Fossil, a four, not the best, and this is seriously one of the most weird looking cards. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know people like it, but it is not for me. Yeah, Erica's Clefable, guys. Nishida and Sugimori just destroyed Gym Heroes and Gym Challenge. I love their artwork, here we go. Seven, once again, so close. I love the Gym Leaders Pokemon cards. They're just my favorite. I'll never get sick of them. Oh boy, another reverse banger. The Gyarados, oh, that's so cool. A four though, it's all good. Oh, that looks so good. That f I wonder if Pokemon will ever bring back that uh, hollow pattern. That would be insane. People would go crazy for it. Mewtwo EX Full Art. Eight, you can see it is off center quite a bit. Didn't get that OC grade. Even though a lot of cards should get the OC grade, oof, they kind of don't give it out too often. Alakazam, banger, so cool. Spoon Boy, four as well. Look at this massive print line right in the middle. <laughs> that is huge. But oof, I love seeing those legendary collections. Crobat V. 10, all these modern cards again, good 10s, so that's that's cool to see. Eternatus, 10, very nice. At least you know, Pokemon is sometimes, oh man. I love this card, Dragonite EX, let's go. An eight, that is solid. If you want to get rid of this card, <laughs> I don't know why you would, but uh, I will trade you something for that as well. Beautiful, I need so many more Dragonite cards for my Dragonite collection, let's go. Gengar. Seven, so many sevens with these Watsy cards, but a lot of people's favorite Gengar, so classic. Is that the first Gengar card ever released? Dark Gyarados, we've seen a ton of him with celebrations, right? Let's get it, a five, right in the middle with that one. Not too shabby, ooh! Next pile we have, <laughs> this one's gonna be a long one, guys. Dark Alakazam, more Rocket cards. Seven, not bad whatsoever. And guys, you have to remember, uh, an Amash Nation member actually commented suggesting that I say the prices of the subs. Dark Magneton, very cool. One of the hardest cards to grade a 10. And we got a six for this one. Because you know, the prices are always changing and that this specific member, Light Togetic First Edition, wanted to kind of compare the cost of grading with like the current values and all that stuff. So I thought it was a pretty good idea. 
Six for the first edition light togetic. Very cool artwork. I do enjoy that one quite a bit. And so this sub clear back in the day, Dark Dragonite. Six, first edition, not the error. <laughs> All these cards only cost ten dollars to grade with PSA. Hit them fades, let's go. Ten, very nice. So remember the good old days when it was only ten bucks. Oh, we know this one is very damaged, but still, Gold Star Mew, beautiful! A one. <laughs> very nice. I wonder what the pop is on this. Definitely you can tell why, but that is such a good artwork. We all love shiny Mew, especially with the new gold Mew that just came out with Celebrations. Wouldn't it be nice if Pokemon, or I mean PSA, came back with those um, services? Seven for the Rockets Moltres, such a beautiful card. Love Moltres so much. Next up, ooh, Cracked Ice Charizard. You do not see this one too often. He does look kind of derpy, <laughs> but we have an eight, very nice, for 2009 Charizard. Very solid. Cracked Ice, a lot of people do enjoy that hollow pattern. Giovanni's Persian, love to see it. Such a cool card. Seven, once again, the Gym Heroes and Gym Challenge cards are just getting all those sevens. It's all good, though. Oh, yes, one of my favorite cards, the Blaine's Moltres. Let's get it better than a seven. Oh, nope, we got a five. <laughs> Somewhere on here, something is a little messed up, but it's all good. Oh, that just looks so good. Uh, a lot of people also said that they really like Blaine, which is kind of surprising. Ooh, yes, Mewtube, so beautiful. This card just brings me straight back to when I was a kid. Nine, very nice grade for the Secret Rare from Shining Legends. Um, to me, Blaine is just some old dude, but I guess, oh boy kids, close your eyes. We have the band Misty's Tears. Poor Staryu, or should we say Lucky Staryu? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's go. Eight for the band Misty's Tears. Very good card, very nice grade. Next up, oh, another band one. Watch out, Sabrina's pissed. <laughs> we have another eight. Let's go. And Sabrina with the Master Ball too. How does Sabrina have a Master Ball? Come on. I thought there was only one ever made. <laughs> Next up, Japanese Giovanni's Gyarados in the ocean. A six for this one. Beautiful card though. Maybe we're getting halfway through. Ooh, some modern gold. Scoop up net. Let's get it. Ten. Scooping up the good grades. Let's go. Love to see the gold cards because I'm a fan. Turbo Patch, another one. Nine for this one. I do enjoy that with all the elements, all the typings there. Next up, gold Rillaboom. Rillaboom is my boy. We have, oh, a nine. Love the shiny Pokemon though. Just can't get, I mean, at least I don't get sick of shiny Pokemon. Pokemon Breeders, Rainbow. 10, very nice, very nice. Sword and Shield love right now. Let's get it. Another Sword and Shield card, Salamence. Let's go with more tens. Next up, now I think we are halfway through this giant pile. Charizard, 10, let's go. Cannot complain about a 10, especially if it's Charizard. Another one, 10, let's go, congrats, congrats. How, I think there's a few of these. 10, <laughs> yes, would love to see it. Good job with all these good. Ooh, our first Charizard nine. It's all good though, nine is still a good grade. And another 10. Yeah, beautiful card, so good. I love Charizard V Max. I'm gonna have to start making another pile. Charizard V, a 10, very nice, very nice. Gonna move this pile over. And next up, ooh, wait, I feel like we haven't seen Evolution's uh, Charizard in a while. Oh, a nine, and I'm still yet to pull a 10 in the Evolution's Charizard. Olivia, rar. <laughs> let's get it. Oh, a nine for this one. This came out Crimson Invasion. Very nice waifu there. Everyone digging on the waifus. Next up, Genesect Shining. Very cool. Not my favorite Pokemon, but I love Shining Pokemon. 10, too. Cannot complain about that one. So good. Very nice, very nice. Next up, hey, Ashes Pikachu. Backwards hat. Let's get it. Nine. So cool to see these. I think they're so cool. Ashes Pikachu. Next up, hey, another one from the I Choose You movie. This one, he's lifting his head up, he's happy. 10 for this, so cool, I love that. Imagine if these were hollow, that would be insane. Whoa, speaking of hollow, we have a Toys R Us promo. RIP Toys R Us. 
a nine for this, at least RIP here in the States. I think uh, Toys R Us still exist in a few places. <laughs> Jesse and James, 10, very nice. Love that full art. And Charizard GX, this is the promo from the tins. Seven, these are very hard to grade because of how they were packaged. Nine, let's go. Let's see if we can actually get a 10 with this uh, promo. Oh, we actually got one, very nice. Like I said, because they were pinched in the plastic, it is hard to get a 10. Eight, you are getting all of the grades right now. <laughs> Let's see if we can get another 10. Another eight, beautiful card. I think promos are underrated. Charizard, this is from the actual set. Hey, we got a very nice 10 for that. Very cool, congrats. Do we get the shiny boy? No, we got a full art mega though. Nine, come on. Oh, that is a cool card though. I love the texture of the Evolutions uh, full arts. Mega from Evolutions, another nine. Very cool, like the Japanese writing there on an English card. Next up, oh, we got a six. I swear some of these guys, they either grade like perfect or they come out a six somehow. Another one, nine, very close. Cool artwork there though, not my favorite to be honest. Reverse Charizard, let's see if we can get a 10. Nope, we get an eight, but classic. I think I still need a reverse Charizard in my personal collection. Next, another one of these. The centering looks pretty good. Let's see. Oh, guys, I'm telling you, it's so hard to get that nine. And in this lighting, we can't see any print lines or anything, but that's usually what does it with the evolutions. Charizard and breaks in. A 10, let's go. Cosmic Eclipse is my favorite modern set. Another one, a nine. At least you got a 10. I think those are very cool cards. Charizard and Reshiram this time, let's go. A 10, very cool. I do enjoy that artwork quite a bit and just a normal ultra rare too, insane. Another one, a nine. Uh, I just like seeing Pokemon actually doing attacks in their artwork. I think it's so cool. More nines, let's see. Oh yeah, we have a Charizard fan. Another 10, let's go. And another one, nine. Tens and nines, tens and nines. And hey, we have a Pikachu, our Detective Pikachu Charizard. The realistic looking Charizard, creepy in my opinion. Nine for this one, not bad. Very cool though, you don't see that one too often. Few cards left guys, Rainbow Snorlax. A 10, let's go. We're ending it off on a good note. Snorlax is a fan fave. Next up, ooh, Hidden Fates. Can we get another 10? Yes, two 10s in a row, and can we end it with a 10 three-peat? And the last card is a Japanese card. We have a good chance because it's Japanese. Oh, I forgot to cover it, <laughs> but it is a 10, and look at that. We got the Skull Grunt. Pikachu, <laughs> that is awesome, such a sweet card. I love the cosplay Pikachu promos. They are so good, and you got a 10. We got that three-peat 10. Wow, guys, that was awesome. Like I said, such a cool reveal. Thank you guys so much for trusting me with your cards and for waiting over a year to get them back from PSA. You're all awesome. Remember to enter today's giveaway by commenting your favorite anime or TV show or movie in this video, in the comments, I'm excited to hear it. And remember to be subscribed as well. The button is super close, takes a second. And guys, once again, one last big thank you to Boxu for sponsoring this video. Remember to use my code, OMOSH10. Everything's in the description below to join the Boxu team. I know you will enjoy it so much. And with that, guys, let's pick the winner of Tuesday's giveaway. Here we are, OMOSH Nation, ready to pick the winner of Tuesday's giveaway, we got the video from Tuesday, the nice CGC reveal. All you had to do was comment your favorite Pokeball in the Pokemon universe and subscribe. And so here's the URL, filter out the duplicates. We have 131 unique entries. Thanks for everyone who entered and I wish you all good luck. If anyone who does not comply with the rules of the giveaway gets picked, we will pick again. And also you cannot win twice. <laughs> so if someone somehow gets picked who has already won, we will pick again. Hopefully everyone understands. Just want to give everyone a good chance at winning a nice random mystery slab pack from me. And so here we go, guys. Once again, thank you. Good luck. Drum roll. <laughs> Let's go.
Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Cody Partridge. I would have to say the moon ball. Wow, I didn't even know that existed. Just an awesome ball. The color scheme Pokemon with. I always try to get my Umbreon in one. Ooh, that'd be nice. Thanks again for the giveaways. You're awesome. No, you are awesome. And congrats on winning. This has been so fun asking all of you guys all these questions and hearing from you. Seriously, already can't wait for the next one. Make sure to enter today's current giveaway. And again, guys, I wish you all luck. And Cody, make sure to message me before next Tuesday or else your prize will be chained on to Tuesday's winner. And back to the video. <laughs> I almost forgot to pick the giveaway winner. Uh, I was about to end the video, but guys, congrats. Thanks so much for entering every single giveaway. I wish you good luck for the remaining giveaways of this month. I cannot believe we have hit two years, insane. You're all awesome though. I hope you have the best rest of the day and I will catch you next time.